Thanks for coming back to PokerNews.com. I'm here with Ryan Reese. And Ryan, you just played your first short deck tournament yesterday. How did it go? Um, it was a lot of fun. I played a little bit of cash games online, so I was kind of aware of how to play. Um, but yeah, I watched a ton of the coverage on Triton. So I, that's basically how I got all of my um, knowledge, I guess you could say. But um, I had a lot of fun. I got like 11th and 6th paid. I didn't cash, but um, I'm going to play the 10K in Vegas. The WSOP. The WSOP one, yeah. You so got this, in for cheap and a 2K. Yeah. <laughs> this was like my satellite. It didn't work, but I'm still going to play it. Um, but yeah, I learned and it was fun. What interests you about the game? A lot of all-ins, a lot of action. People just want to gamble. Um, the, the layout, how you ante instead of having the normal blinds is kind of cool. And you get like... You get, you get three shells basically and you can put them in like all at once or you can do one at a time. So it's kind of cool. There's a lot of different strategies you can use. What other variants of poker do you play or like to play? Um, deuce to seven single draw. Very little PLO. Um, so like why rats. don't you like PLO? No, I play. I just don't play at really high stakes. I'll play like small buy-ins, but like if it's a 25K, I'll probably skip it. Right. But I'll play like a 1K or 1500 or something. All right, so you're branching out, trying out Slowly. short deck? Yeah, yeah, I'm branching out in small stakes. Yeah. Hold them, I'll play high stakes, all the other games, low stakes. Yeah, it's, it's fun to like change it up. Yeah. So you're also uh, enjoying Monaco, which it seems like the first time ever. Why do you think you're finally appreciating this amazing place? I don't know, but um, I was just talking to my father actually, and I told him that I'm not that excited to go because it's always so expensive. And then we come on these trips to make money. And when you pay like thirty dollars for a cheeseburger, or well, you just paid forty euros for something. Do you want to tell them what you paid euros for? For aloe, for my sunburn. Forty euros for a bottle of aloe vera. That's true. It's a true story. So everything's kind of expensive, but it's so beautiful. So you're paying for you're paying for a reason because it's really nice. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting older or something. <laughs> well, uh, you just had a second child. Congratulations, a baby did. girl. Yes, Mila. Um, yeah, she's doing great. She turns two months in a couple of days. Uh, yeah, and then the other one turns uh, three years old in a couple of days. Hi. So happy early birthday to you, Sandra. <laughs> happy early birthday. Does being a dad change the, your poker schedule or how you play poker? Yeah, um, it's so hard for me to not play poker tournaments. I love the, the game so much and um, get to hang out with my friends. I, I truly enjoy the game. I love it. Some, a lot of poker players don't like it. They do it to make money, like as a job, but I truly love it. So it's hard for me to skip tournaments, but um, having kids is definitely a good reason to skip because you get to spend more time with the family. So, um, but I still play. You'll still see me around. Sometimes they'll come out. I've seen them come out on the road with you. Yeah, I'm going to Cyprus after this in like four days and they're going, so. Here, that's beautiful as well and not as expensive. Yeah, I've never been, so I'm really excited, but I've heard, I've heard good things. Good weather too. Yeah, well. But I, have, I, love I, it. I have to stay out of the sun for a few <laughs> days till this uh, this calms down. Yeah, or just you know put that forty dollar aloe on more sunscreen. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I need to be smarter next time. <laughs> or just like be like me and hide inside the poker room because that happens to me if I'm outside for like five minutes. Yeah. Um, last question: You put out a bet on Twitter, Sean D versus anyone for POI and WSOP. Why? Did you get any takers? Does anyone want to battle Sean D? It feels like it's a short list of people who'd want to do that. Yeah, um, somebody um, bet on Daniel Negreanu against Sean D, and we bet a lot of money. So I hope Sean. Oh, with you, bet you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I took D. Somebody else took Negreanu. Um, so you have to win. It must win. So they have to win Player of the Year. So if like Ben Yu wins or something. No, then no one, there's no, no or bet. Or Chris no, Ferguson. Or Chris Ferguson yeah. or, yeah, whoever else. But um, I have a feeling that Debra Negreanu is going to win. So I'm either going to be really happy or not that happy. Because of the feud or just because they like, Negreanu's playing so many more events this year and Deeb won last year and plays all these mixed games. Yeah, um, Negreanu said he wanted to be the first to win, or he wanted to win three player of the years before anyone else won two. And he knows that Deeb is going to go all out to win back to back, it would be pretty epic. So I think it's going to be a fun storyline to follow um, throughout the summer. Hopefully Deeb does it. Deeb is just so good at all the mixed games and he's grinds so hard. Like last year he had three 
or two day threes at the same time, which is incredible. Like you just have to be running back and forth. It takes a special person to do that for 60 days straight or whatever. Um, I think the only person who can grind as hard as him is Negreanu. So. Well, I'm rooting for you. Big Sean Deep fan. <laughs> Big Negreanu fan, but I feel like Deep is just better at the mixed games, I think. Yes, I think Deep is better at the mixed games and Negreanu is better at Hold'em. Um, and Deep's not going to play the 100K, he said. Which well, we'll see what happens. Let's see if he gets like a little heater early on. Before, just go flick 100K in. Yeah, it's only 100K, right? Come on, come on, Deep. Man up. <laughs> play the 100K. All right, well, thanks for chatting with us. Take care of yourself. I will try. I hope you go deep in this tournament so you're not in the sun. Yes, me too. I don't <laughs> want to be outside anymore the rest of the trip. I'll stay in this room, be very happy in this room. Be really good over 800,000 euro for first would be a nice little cash. And uh, stay tuned to pokernews.com. We have all the live updates so you can follow Ryan Reese and see how well he does.